Hey, welcome back to a brand new episode. I'm your host Karthik and today we are gonna learn how to rig a character in a simple and easiest way. For rigging a character, you need three things. That is, first one is a free software which is called the Accurate in which we are gonna rig the character. The second thing is a free add-on which is called the CC Pipeliner. And the third thing is of course Blender. So I will give the link for downloading all the three things down in the description. So here we are inside Blender and this is the character which we are gonna use for rigging. And if you want this character, I will give the link in the description from where you can download this character for absolutely free. So at first, we have to export this character. So I'm gonna select the character and go to File, Export and I'm exporting it as FBX and that's it. Now let's jump to Accuric. So this is the Accuric. So once, uh, if you don't know how to use Accuric, it's very simple. This is the interface. So you have the option for choosing the file. So and make sure you are signed in because otherwise it won't work. So uh, sign in, in with your Google account or any account you have. Then click choose file. So once you choose file, you can go into a location and select the FBX file. Now the model has been imported. So here we go. We have the model perfectly aligned so once you're happy let's start rigging so here we have the options to rig the body so click the rig body so now we have some points on our character which uh, indicates certain body parts uh, and on the right side we have the reference image and from which you can take reference and accordingly you can adjust the points onto your character so I'm just gonna speed this process so once you're happy with the joints so now let's move on to rigging our hand so click the rig right hand so now we have the option for selecting the num number of fingers since we are going for a human body of course human body has five fingers so select five and click next now we got joints on our right hand and again we have reference image on the right side accordingly you can adjust the point onto your hand so again I'm gonna speed this process so once you're happy with the right hand joints now you can go to rig left hand so again the same process you have reference on the right side you can adjust the points on your fingers so it's a, it's a, it's just the same process so i'm just gonna speed this up and once you're happy with the joints you can click finalize character and that's it you can see our character has been rigged so perfectly and once you're happy with that you can click export so i'm going to ex export it as fbx so once you click export fbx you have the options to select the uh, software so i'm selecting blender since i'm going for blender so click blender and click export and now i'm saving it as lady rig dot fbx now let's jump back to blender and let's import our new fbx file so either uh, you can import the file by going into file and import but that might not work uh, all the time so that's why i ask you to download a free add-on that is called the CC Pipeliner. So click on CC Pipeliner and there we have an option for importing character. So click import character and go to your uh, location and import. And here we have our character and now we got the bones on our model but we don't have the controls. So by scrolling down we have the option called rigging and animation. Oh so the rigify add-on is not installed so rigify add-on is a free uh, default add-on that comes with blender so make sure you enable that otherwise this won't work so we have to go to edit go to preference and search for rigify which is an default add-on that comes with the blender so you don't have to do anything else you so you just have to enable that so once you enable that you get an option called rigify so select rigify and there we go we got the controls on our character now let's try how it moves so I select the control and go to post mode and let's try moving the hand that's it so this is one of the easiest method for rigging a character so that's it guys i hope this video was helpful and educational if it was helpful for you make sure you send this video to your blender friends and hit the subscribe button for more such interesting and spectacular tutorials so once again you're watching knk visual productions i'm karthik i'm signing off see you in the next video until then take care